The Apocrypha, a collection of ancient texts, has been a subject of scholarly debate and canonical disputes for centuries. These disputed books, often considered as intertestamental literature, stand on the periphery of the accepted biblical canon. Understanding the Apocrypha requires delving into historical contexts, examining ancient texts, and exploring the perspectives of scholars who have contributed to the discourse in this intriguing video. Historical Background To comprehend the Apocrypha, we must travel back to the Hellenistic and Roman periods, a time when various Jewish and Christian communities were grappling with questions of religious identity and textual authority. The Old Testament canon, or the Hebrew Bible, underwent formation during this period, and the boundaries of accepted scripture were not universally agreed upon. The Jewish canon was established in different stages, and while some texts were readily accepted, others found themselves on the fringes. The Apocrypha, a collection in dispute. The term Apocrypha itself denotes a sense of hiddenness or secrecy. This collection consists of texts that did not make it into the Hebrew Bible but were included in the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Hebrew scriptures widely used in Hellenistic Judaism. The Apocrypha comprises books like Tobit, Judith, Wisdom of Solomon, Syriac, Ecclesiasticus, Baruch, 1 and 2 Maccabees, additions to the books of Esther and Daniel, and others. These books cover a range of genres, including historical narratives, wisdom literature, and apocalyptic visions. Their disputed status stems from the fact that different religious traditions have divergent views on their authenticity and inspiration. For example, while the Catholic Church includes several apocryphal books in its canon, most Protestant denominations reject them as inspired scripture. Scholarly Perspectives Scholars have long debated the inclusion of the Apocrypha in the biblical canon. Theologians and historians have analyzed linguistic styles, theological themes, and historical contexts to determine the origins and significance of these texts. Some scholars argue that the Apocrypha provides valuable insights into the religious and cultural milieu of the time. These texts, they contend, offer a window into the development of Jewish thought, the struggles of communities under foreign rule, and the evolution of theological concepts. For instance, the books of Maccabees shed light on the events surrounding the Maccabean Revolt, a pivotal moment in Jewish history. On the other hand, skeptics raise questions about the consistency of theological messages within the Apocrypha and its alignment with established canonical texts. They argue that certain books exhibit a departure from the doctrinal unity found in accepted scripture, leading to concerns about their theological reliability. Canonical Disputes in the Christian Tradition The disputes surrounding the Apocrypha are not confined to the Jewish tradition. In the early centuries of the Christian era, various Christian communities held different views on the inclusion of these texts in the New Testament canon. The Eastern Orthodox Church includes additional books, known as the Deuterocanonical Books which overlap with some of the apocryphal texts accepted by the Catholic Church. The councils of Hippo, 393 CE, and Carthage, 397 CE, played crucial roles in shaping the Christian biblical canon. These councils, attended by influential church leaders, sought to establish a standardized list of authoritative scriptures. However, debates persisted, and it was not until the Council of Trent in the 16th century that the Catholic Church officially affirmed the canonicity of the Apocrypha in response to the Protestant Reformation's rejection of these books. The Protestant Reformation The 16th century Protestant Reformation, led by figures like Martin Luther, had a profound impact on the status of the Apocrypha. Luther, in his translation of the Bible into German, separated the apocryphal books into an appendix, expressing reservations about their theological importance. This move influenced subsequent Protestant translations, and many Protestant denominations formally excluded the Apocrypha from their canon. Luther's concerns were rooted in theological differences between the Apocrypha and other canonical texts. For instance, the doctrine of salvation by faith alone, a cornerstone of Protestant theology, seemed less explicit in some apocryphal writings. This theological dissonance contributed to the exclusion of these books from Protestant Bibles. Contemporary Perspectives and Research Contemporary scholars continue to explore the Apocrypha in canonical disputes, drawing on advances in textual criticism, archaeology, and historical research. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the mid-20th century provided new insights into the diversity of Jewish texts circulating during the Second Temple period. 
Some scrolls contain fragments or versions of books now considered apocryphal, highlighting their presence and significance in ancient Jewish communities. Additionally, ongoing research has illuminated the role of early Christian writers in shaping the perception of the Apocrypha. Early Christian authors often quoted from or alluded to these texts, contributing to their influence within certain Christian traditions. The writings of influential figures like Augustine of Hippo and Jerome reflect nuanced perspectives on the Apocrypha, further complicating the canonical landscape. The Apocrypha and canonical disputes represent a fascinating chapter in the history of ancient texts. The debates surrounding these writings underscore the complex processes of canonization, the diversity of religious thought in antiquity, and the ongoing dialogue between faith traditions. Scholars and theologians continue to explore the Apocrypha, recognizing its historical and theological significance while navigating the tensions inherent in determining the boundaries of sacred scripture. As we delve into the past through these disputed texts, we gain not only a deeper understanding of religious traditions but also insight into the enduring questions of authority, inspiration, and the diverse tapestry of ancient beliefs.